May nga adlaw dia sa iyo by soon. Salamat sa Dios na gitagaan na butag usa ka adlaw ning kalibutan para makapadayon kita sa atong pagpangalaga dia sa atong hari nga mao si Ginoo si Kristo. Bueno, magsugod na kita sa atong bulaton karong adlaw. Last Sunday's message touched on the subject of the future hope for every believer, the new heavens and the new earth. Allow me to expand, enlarge, dig deeper in our knowledge on the new heavens and the new earth to build a biblical worldview on the subject giving us a comprehensive grasp of the doctrine of the kingdom of God. Salamat sa Diyos. This is our continuing education on the kingdom of God doctrine. Now, continuous learning forms a necessary part in acquiring critical thinking skills and discovering new ways of relating to our future life. Salamat sa Diyos. Continuous learning is our self-motivated persistence in acquiring knowledge and competence in order to expand our skills in developing our eternal life's value. This will mold our worldview, outlook in life, that will primarily influence, give supreme guidance and direction in our life's journey to eternity. To live a life without continuous learning is unthinkable. Usbon ta ni mga isoon kay para masulod gini sa atong alimpatakan. To live a life without continuous learning is unthinkable. Hallelujah. Heraclitus says, The only thing that is constant is change. Welcome to the world of the kingdom of God. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. This is a big challenge for us mga egzon. Dissolve your toxic ego. Makahilo nga makakauhan. Makahilo na kakauhan. Before it dissolves yourself. Hallelujah. We will now take up the topic, basic things you should know about the new heavens and the new earth. By Brother Ian Smith. Summarized by Sid Nodokot. Hallelujah. Number one. Jesus was raised on earth. Jesus was raised on earth. Not in heaven. Now, we should not confuse the resurrection and the ascension. This resurrection is the first fruit of the general resurrection. Please read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20, and then jump to verse 23. Our bodies will also be raised in a way that will allow us to live in the new heavens and the new earth. We do not know all the details of what this will be look alike, but we know that we shall be like Him in 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Christianity is a resurrection religion. Number 2. God did not hold back His best when He created the earth. God did not hold back His best when He created the earth. Praise the name of Jesus. The earth that God created is full of beauty, color, and creativity. God declared it to be very good. Genesis 1 verse 31. Gitanaw sa Diyos ang tanan niyang gibuhat ug nakita niya nga 
maayo gayod kini. Hallelujah. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. God did not hold back when He created this world by keeping the best for heaven. No. Of course, this present world is not all that we would want it to be. Suffering still pervades every part of our present lives because of sin. But the Bible shows God's commitment to fix God's commitment to fix this problem by descending to earth to address the issue of sin. When Jesus returns, it will not be just for a visit or to pick us up and take us elsewhere. No, 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 no. He is coming to stay. He is coming to stay. Hallelujah. The New Jerusalem coming down from out of heaven from God will descend to earth. Revelation chapter 21 and the beauty of God's creation will be restored and renewed. And the beauty of God's creation will be restored and renewed. Hallelujah. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Mga Iksuon, dili pa kini ang atong permanenting address karon. Kani atong ipoyan karon ng kalibutan. Usbon kini. Sunugon kini. Kay puro na kay kagaw. Dagka na kayo ang mga virus mo nang kinalan e sanitize. Sunugon sa gino para maghimo siya o bagong langit o bagong yuta. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Number three. The destruction of the earth does not mean its total obliteration, total destruction, total blot out. Dili hingpit ang paguba sa kalibutan. The Bible talks of the total destruction of the earth twice. Number one, the flood in the days of Noah. And then number two, the final destruction of earth by fire. Now question, what do we mean by destruction? The flood in Noah's time certainly destroyed the world but it did not, it did not totally obliterate, totally destroy, totally blot out the world. Usbon ta niya mga isoon para ma-emphasize yun na ito on sa kapunto ang atong gina-deliver karong adlawa. The flood in Noah's time certainly destroyed the world, but it did not totally obliterate totally destroy, totally blot out the world. Wala man mahingpit ang pagguba sa tibo kalibutan sa panahon sa lunop ni Noe. Hallelujah. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, But the day of the Lord will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will disappear in fire, and the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment. And the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment. Now, this is an image that is of a purifying fire which removes the dross, rubbish of imperfections. Kini naghulagway sa mga pagkaputli nga kalayo, sa mga basura, sa pagkadili hingpit tungod sa sala. The dross, garbage of sin will be removed and the purity of the gold will be exposed. Hallelujah. Iksoon kaning atong kalibutan karon kay tungod na daghan na kay virus i sterilize kani sunugo ni sa kalayo sa Ginoo nga matanggal ang tanang virus kagaw para mugawas ang pure gold, mugawas ang bag-ong yuta, 
uban sa bagong langit. Hallelujah. Salamat sa Diyos. Hence, what we do now on earth matters. Importante kay magsun at ang atong mga panginabuhi karon. Importante kay kani mooy basyan sa atong eternidad nga kinabuhi. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Number four, the holy land expands to be a holy earth. As the New Testament opens, we are introduced to this Messiah, our King Jesus. Jesus fulfills all the promises of God. God's purpose in choosing one nation was that all the nations on earth will be blessed. God's purpose in choosing one nation, Israel, was that all the earth would be blessed. In the wake of Jesus' fulfillment of all that Israel stood for, the New Testament begins the transition from a holy land to a holy earth. Hallelujah! Salamat sa Diyos! Di lang na holy land, isuon may mo na bagpong yuta, balaan na yuta na! Hallelujah! From Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Now, the ultimate realization of this will be seen in the new heavens and the new earth in which righteousness dwells. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13 says, But according to His promise, we are looking for new heavens and new earth in which righteousness dwells. Sabi ni siya, naging odia, Apaan nagahulat kita sa gisaad sa Diyos kanato nga bago nga langit o bago nga yuta diin anaa ang pagkamatarong. Salamat sa Diyos! Salamat sa Diyos! Number five, Jesus' proclamation about the kingdom of God is concerned with this world. When Jesus claimed, My kingdom is not of this world, in the book of John, chapter 18, verse 36, He was referring to the domain over which He rules. Hopefully, the kingdom of God makes an impact in this present world. The Gospels clearly identifies Two kingdoms, two kingdoms, but the division is not between sacred and secular. Dili kontra sa sagrado or secular o kalibutanon. The division is between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. Please read Luke 11 verses 14 up to verses 22. The ministry of Jesus disarms and defeats the kingdom of this world over which Satan rules. Oh, the day will come when heaven declares that the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of His Christ. Revelation 11 verse 15 The effects of the kingdom of God must be lived out from Monday to Saturday as well as on Sunday. Kingdom living must be in all aspects of our lives 24-7. Salamat sa Diyos. Jesus is Lord over all. He is committed to His creation. Hallelujah. Now, creation and the new creation are the bookends of the Bible. Ang creation sa Genesis Ixon nagsugod unya ang tumoy ang revelation sa bagong yuta o bagong langit mo ni ang books ends sa total creation of this good wonderful new earth and new heavens salamat sa Dios salamat sa Dios God is concerned for the renewal of this earth The new heaven and the new earth will be God's 
resetting and recreating the heavens and the earth where sin and the effects of sin will no longer be present will no longer be present salamat sa Dios we will be able to enjoy the beauty of God's presence in all of his glory unhindered by the presence of sin glory to God finally brethren let us watch a video presentation by God question.org and we thank the Lord for this ministry of the God question.org What are the new heavens and the new earth? I have a misconception of what heaven is truly like. Revelation chapters 21 through 22 gives us a detailed picture of the new heavens and the new earth. After the events of the end times, the current heavens and earth will be done away with and be replaced by the new heavens and new earth. The eternal dwelling place of believers will be the new earth. The new earth is the heaven on which we will spend eternity. It is the new earth where the new Jerusalem, the heavenly city, will be located. It is on this new earth that the pearly gates and streets of gold will be. Heaven, the new earth, is a physical place where we will dwell with glorified physical bodies. The concept that heaven is in the clouds is unbiblical. The concept that we will be spirits floating around in heaven is also unbiblical. The heaven that believers will experience will be a new and perfect planet on which we will dwell. The new earth will be free from sin, evil, sickness, suffering, and death. It will likely be similar to our current earth, or perhaps even a recreation of our current earth, but without the curse of sin. What about the new heavens? It is important to remember that in the ancient mind, heavens refers to the skies and outer space, as well as the realm in which God dwells. So, when Revelation 21.1 refers to the new heavens, it is likely indicating that the entire universe will be created, a new earth, new skies, and new outer space. It seems as if God's heaven will be recreated as well, to give everything in the universe a fresh start, whether physical or spiritual. Will we have access to the new heavens in eternity? Possibly, but we will have to wait to find out. May we all allow God's word to shape our understanding of heaven. Salamat Iksoon. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. See you in my next video. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen o Amen.